I'm King Lee. Welcome to my channel. Believe it! Hey guys, King Lee here, and before we begin the video, make sure you show some support to the original creators. Yo, what's up guys? It's the young King Lee, I kiss no boots. Uh, I did it early. Gotta do it again. Anyway, this is gonna be top 10 antagonist groups in anime um, by VinnyTube. You know, VinnyTube did that whole channel rem remodel shit, and I like it. I like it. I like it. It's like a like a watch mojo better form. Anyway, this is gonna be top ten anime antagonist groups. You already know. I just said it. Um, of course, the Akatsuki gotta be on the number one spot. And I don't know why it started. Like it started playing as soon as I put the link in, and it just kept playing. So I had to stop it at 10 seconds. But anyway. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. 3, 2, 1, go. While the focal point of every anime and the most loved character in the show is the protagonist, the antagonists are those that often make or break the story. In order for us to get involved with the story, there needs to be a challenge and a threat, and usually these challenges come in the form of antagonist groups. Sometimes these groups come and go in one arc, and sometimes they're a looming threat like a storm in a distance like that we I know the main character is going to have to face one day. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Watch Mo uh, I, I mean, VinnyTube. <laughs> Here's a list of the top antagonist groups in anime. Starting off the list at number 10, from One Piece, it's the Big Mom Pirates. Big Mom Pirates. This group's one of the four pirate crews that rule the open waters of the new world. Founded and led by the Yonko, Charlotte Lin Lin, aka Big Mom, Big Mom Pirate uses Whole Cake Island as their base of operations. Almost all of Big Mom's pirates are Big Mom's sons and daughters. Considering how many children she has, we're not really sure whether Big Mom's fat or she's just continuously pregnant. She has 85 children who she uses as pawns, often engaging in political marriages for growing her power and achieving her goal of becoming the Pirate King. 85. Big Mom Pirate acts less like a pirate crew and more like a small country with ministers and mayors. Some of the strongest Big Mom Pirates are the Sweet Commander's Cracker, Smoothie, Katakuri, Smoothie Daifuku, Oven and many other notable fighters, tacticians and cooks. Mm. Tokyo Ghoul. Next on the list at 9, it's Aogiri from Tokyo Ghoul. Aogiri is a terrorist organization founded by Eto Yoshimura. It's believed to be governed by the mysterious One-Eyed okay. King, a figure surrounded by speculation unseen and unknown to most, except for a few of the Aogiri members. Eto often really acts behind the people. scenes, but Tatara, a direct subordinate of the King, has served as the operational leader. The Aogiri are united with the goal of making ghouls the dominant species. Eto has stated mm. that the organization has thousands of ghouls in their ranks, the majority being B-rated or below. The upper chain of command consists of many S-rank ghouls or higher, like Misa, Ayato, Tatara okay. and Naki. I knew it again, Tama boy. I knew it. At number eight, we have Kieitai from Gintama. The Kieitai was primarily made of young men who wanted to participate in the war. After the samurai lost the war, many of the Kieitai members were captured and executed in a post war purge by the Bakufu. This was done in an attempt to eliminate threats and secure their rule, but in doing so, they motivated the Kieitai to become more extreme and dedicated to their cause of overthrowing Bakufu. Mm -hmm. The leader and founder of Kieitai is Takasugi Shinsuke, a wanted fugitive, rebel and fierce samurai. His fight against Gintoki is surely one of the best fights you'll see in shonen anime. Thanks. Kieitai! Why you always wearing that clothes? Oh, no. oh, 
Lotus. Lotus. Fuck this. He's trying to keep that arm away from you. Yeah. On to number seven is the Ten Commandments from the Seven Deadly Sins. Mm. It's interesting how in this show the good guys are the Seven Deadly Sins and the bad guys are the Ten Holy Commandments. This group is an elite group Thanks. of the Ten Strongest Warriors amongst the Demon Clan. Handpicked by the Demon King himself, he created the Ten Commandments to help him rule over the Demon Realm. He split his oh, power his to share with his subjects, I making sure his, his, his position his isn't in jeopardy by giving all of the power to a single individual, but instead dividing it amongst ten fragments. Mm -hmm. Each member possesses a unique power gifted to them by the Demon King called a Commandment, which casts a curse on someone that breaks a rule of their commandment, such as Galan's Truth ability, which turns anyone who lies into stone. Mm. I like my hero. Next on the list at number 6 is the League of Villains from My Hero Academia. Founded by All Might's arch nemesis All for One, the League of Villains oh is the largest criminal organization we know in the My Hero Academia world. Today it's led by Tomura Shigaraki and its goal is to topple hero society by destroying the symbol of peace, All Might. While Tamora acts as an impulsive child who wants to destroy for the sake of destroying, his right-hand man Kurogiri, who has a calm and rational demeanor, is a perfect counterbalance. A major asset to their power no. is the artificial so Nomus right. that All for One has created and filled with quirks. Exactly how many Nomus they have isn't known, but the fact that a Nomu can stand their ground against the most powerful hero All Might is the yes. hint of the power that the League of Villains have. <laughs> At number 5, we have Jupon Gatana from Ruroni Kenshin. Shishio was a former assassin who served the government, but after the government attempted to assassinate him, Shishio would go into hiding, slowly amassing power and forming his own revolutionary militia to topple the government. As the head of the militia, he assembled a group of elite warriors, the Jupon Gatana, translating into Ten Swords. The warriors in the ranks of this group are considered some of the most powerful warriors in all of Japan. Although their ranks are distorted and their fighting styles differ, they're all glued together with their resentment for the Meiji government and their admiration for Shishio. Thanks. Oh, metal! Moving on to number 4, from Full Metal Alchemist, we have Homunculus. Homunculi in the FMA world are regarded as a sort of a myth. The concept is known to every alchemist, but no one's ever managed to come close to making one. Mm -hmm. There are seven homunculi, each named after the original sin, and somewhere on them within them exists a philosopher's stone that would allow them to transmute seemingly without obeying the basic law of alchemy to obtain something of equal value has to be given. Each of the homunculi are beings of unique immense power and each with a personality built around the sin they embody. Killing any of them is a very hard task that requires an insane amount of planning and skill because the only way to kill one of them Balance. is to drain the Philosopher's Stone within them of all of its power. Wait. At number three, it's the Espada from Bleach. Let's go, man. The Espada consists of the top-ranking Aaron cars that rule all other Aaron cars. Mm -hmm. Arankars are a type of hollow that gains strength similar to that of a Shinigami by removing their masks, some removing the mask by themselves, and some through Aizen's experimentation. The Espadas are equal in power with that of the captains of the Gote 13. All Espadas yeah. are ranked according to their power. There's a tattoo on each of their bodies representing their rank among the Espadas. For many, the introduction of Espadas and the subsequent arc was one of the highlights of the Bleach series and one of the best arcs next to the Soul Society one, mostly thanks to the charisma of the Espadas themselves and the epic battles they had with the Captains and Ichigo. Since they're ordered in rank already, I'll just mention that my favorite Espadas are 4th Espada Ulkiora and 2nd Espada Grimjow, and judging by the amount of cosplay I've seen of just these two, I'm guessing I'm not the only one. Ulkiora is pretty good. Leo, number two. It's 
Go on, go on. At number two, it's Akatsuki from Naruto. Skip. Originally founded during the Third Shinobi Wars by Yahiko, Nagato and Conan, three orphans of the Second Shinobi Wars. Knowing the pain the war brought them, they formed Akatsuki with the goal of bringing peace to their home country. The Akatsuki collected the tailed beasts as a path towards world peace by putting everyone in a dreamlike state of infinite Tsukuyomi. Akatsuki's members are all S-class ninjas. Some of the other notable members are Kisame, Dedera, Hidan, Sasuri, and Itachi Uchiha, who was a teenager, slayed his entire Uchiha clan, which is an accomplishment, but I wouldn't put that on my resume. Who's number one? Who's number one? Phantom Troll. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I will put the Phantom Troll above the Akatsuki. And finally, at number one, it's the Phantom Troop from Hunter x Hunter. Founded in the Meteor City, the junkyard of the world, the Phantom Troop just, are infamous in the world of Hunter x Hunter for their strength and ruthlessness. The group is made of formidable Nen users. The leader of the Phantom Troop is Crollo Lucilfa. Considered by many as one of the strongest characters in Hunter x Hunter, his mm -hmm. intellect, fighting skill and a complete lack of fear of death in combination with his unique overpowered ability Fair. that allows him to steal and use other Nin users ability which he collects in his book make him incredibly strong. We don't know how many he's stolen but that book does seem pretty thick. Facts. Rolo as well as other members put the troop above themselves with the obvious exception of Hisoka who puts his fetish of young boys, I, I, mean, I mean fighting strong foes above everyone else. The um, Phantom Troop limits their love and affection Uvo, to within the Uvo group. Jin. The rest of the world sees another side of them, the cold-blooded criminal side that have a complete disregard for life and morals. Among their crimes, the one we know most intimately is the massacre of Kurupika's clan, the Kurupika. Kota clan, for the sake of the dark market value of their scarlet eyes. And if someone wants to join the Phantom Troop, the procedure is very simple. Just kill one of the existing members. So Kurupika could join. So which are your members. favorite antagonist groups? Let's you gotta kill the member to join. You gotta kill the member to join. Anyway, uh, let me get the heck out of here. You like the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you're new. But let me know what you think should have been number one. Do you think it should have been the Akatsuki or the Phantom Troop?